it's rage from spiritual angelic guidance i'm here to do a reading for gemini now this will be for november 2021 if you've seen my readings before welcome back thanks for the support if you haven't welcome to my channel i hope it resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe don't forget it's a general reading it is not going to suit every single person out there so take what resonates leave what doesn't also time can be fluid energy can be vice versa so keep that in mind two more shuffles okay gemini too many Wouldn't normally take that many cards, but I will. Okay. Okay. That's where I want to end it. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, there's a few cards that they want me to read for you. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay, so um, it looks like there was a situation where you felt like you were putting in all the hard work. You felt like you were doing everything. Um, it was stressing you out, you know, like you clearly had anxiety, um, you know, overactive mind. There was nightmares, you know, like whatever this was, right? Lack of sleep. Um, the unfortunate thing is, you know, we sometimes when we put out to the universe and we expect the worst and we have all this, you know, negative thoughts that – we actually sort of self-fulfill, like, the situation. We have these, like, self-fulfilling prophecies where we're making them happen because we're putting them out there to the universe. The universe goes, okay, that's what you want, so we'll give you that. So if you worry, stress, fear, you know, lose sleep, you're stressed, like, oh, let's, we'll give you more of that because that's obviously what you want because you're so focused on that. So you've been through a period where you've had that. And as I said, you felt like, you know, you put in all this hard work um, and, you know, it, it just left you feeling like you were burnt out. You know, you felt overwhelmed. You felt like it was a burden, to be honest. I don't want to sneeze. I'm just going to pause you for a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, there was deception in the situation as well. There were lies, deception. There could have been insecurities. Um, but I felt like you should have listened to your intuition. Um, I feel like there will be some sort of revelation or somebody might even communicate something. And it may be, you know, it could be the person. It could be someone else. But it, it feels like it's going to be challenging for you to hear. I feel like it's not... Um, I feel like there's so much uncertainty and I feel like you don't know everything and there might be some sort of communication come in that may make that clear whether it's your person or whether it's someone else there may be some sort of communication that makes things a lot more clearer but it may be really hard to hear so I feel like with the love situation though You've got the king and the queen. 
of Pentacles. Now that is a divine counterpart. That is your person. Um, you know, generally, <clears throat> generally when they're upright, it means they're your and they're the same suit. They're your divine counterpart. Um, so I just feel like you can be successful. Like you might both have money. <clears throat> I feel like you need to be practical about how you approach, um, approach or you proceed. I feel like you, things can turn out perfectly. Um, so whether you've met this person already or whether this is someone new coming in, there is going to be somebody you are going to find your divine counterpart. Um, and I don't know if you were the one being dishonest or they were being dishonest or whatever this was, but I feel like <clears throat> there's more that's on the table as well. So I will go over them. Um, but I feel like, you know, if you find your person, you are going to be successful. Now, I know that you don't want to walk away from this person because of what's on the table. Um, but you may either have to get past this deception or, or I mean, there may, for some of you, there may not even be deception. I feel like it just felt like a bit of a burden. And, you know, the worry that you have, though, I forgot to mention, the worry that you have could also be um, unnecessary. You know, like with the moon, I mean, you don't know all the facts, right? So until you do, I feel like it may it may be unnecessary. Um, <clears throat> I also feel like, I mean, the moon is also about um, just really trusting your intuition. Don't make any rash decisions. But, you know, I mean, obviously not knowing stuff and thinking there might be secrets or there might be deception and there's insecurity and, you know, all this stuff can cause anxiety and fear and worry and stress and, you know, blah, 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 right? So I feel like it could even be that. Like, I'm not saying there is definite deception, but, I mean, the fact you don't want to walk away from this person and, you know, you may just have a new beginning could mean there's deception or they might not, right? Trust your intuition. It's going to be different for different people. I can't give you an overall with everybody because everyone's situations and stories are different. Um... I do feel like, though, whatever you do, you do have, I mean, you've got to trust your intuition. This is the page of um, cups is all about, you know, doubting your intuition. Somebody could be very selfish, but I feel like you you definitely are doubting your intuition. Now, you do have everything inside you to get through something. I feel like, though, you are codependent um, or, yeah, no, I feel like you are. I feel like you're codependent. You might also have lost a baby or a, a child to this person um, but I feel like you, if it's about some creative project for somebody as well, I also feel like you feel like it's not going to be successful. But if there is something that you want to do creatively, I feel like then you know, allow it to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Because, I mean, that's a good thing anyway. It raises your vibration, which is always a good thing. Um, there might be some exciting opportunities that come in and also feel like um, if it's about love, the, the page of wands is about, you know, having limitless potential and being a free spirit, you know, enjoying life, having some inspiration, some sort of clever idea. Um, you know, but also like even with the other experience, with the other situation, with the creative, whatever that is, but also, I mean, it's a fiery, passionate, like wands are about fire and passion and, you know, enthusiasm and, um, optimist, op, um, being optimistic and, um, I just feel like. You're going to get excited about life again and and just knowing that no matter what the situation is you have limitless potential so i feel like you doubt yourself a lot though like we're always our worst inner critics always i think with everybody but i feel like you do doubt yourself whether it's in love or whether it's in 
you don't listen to your heart a lot. You don't trust yourself. You don't because you doubt yourself. So, um, and if it's about love and you had a breakup, maybe you're thinking I don't want to reconcile um, with the person. But that be, could be because, first of all, you're discontent and bored. Like um, the Four of Cups can be about depression. It can be about dissatisfaction, discontent, being stuck, um, you know, kind of um, unfulfilled. And you may feel that way. You may feel, which, as I said, may, even if someone did something wrong, maybe it was you. I don't know. But you're discontent and bored. Um, and unfortunately, you're failing to see this good opportunity up here. So once again, it could be you doing wrong or maybe they think you are doing something wrong. Um, but, you know, really it's just that you maybe the thing that you're hiding, if you are being deceptive, is that maybe you're just discont discontent and bored. Like you don't feel like you're fulfilled. And maybe that's because it's in your own life. You've got other things going on that you're not seeing this magic opportunity being them. Could be that, right? But I feel like if you are a divine counterpart, you will. You will realise that, you know, once you've both worked on yourselves and things, you know, you will realise that, you know, or you may realise that you are divine counterparts. Okay, so on the table you have the Ace of, sorry, the Ace, the Eight of Cups in reverse. You have the Seven of Wands, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and then you've got the Ace of Wands in reverse, the World, Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. As I said, which I already showed you. So as I said, there's a situation that you don't want to walk away from. Um, I feel like you... As I said, you're not feeling like you're, you're discontent and bored. You're not in a good place right now. But at the same time, you don't want to make big life changes. You don't want to leave where you're at. So you're kind of just, you're still there. Tell me more for Gemini. Yeah, look, you're trying to avoid a towel moment. Um, you know, I feel like either you are being deceptive, there's secrets, or there's some sort of self-deceit going on, um, or, as I said, it's more just that you don't want to see the deception, or the deception could be over. This is making me really tired, and this may be draining for you, it may be draining for your person, it could be someone feeling drained, because I feel exhausted all of a sudden. Um, so sorry if I yawn. Also, I mean, yawning is an intuitive thing and I notice I do yawn a lot, but generally it means for me, it generally means people are feeling really tired and exhausted. But you are trying to avoid this tower moment. I feel like to make a positive movement forward though, you've got to learn and you've also got to manifest what it is you do want. Um, your base chakra may be affected, so... Um, for some of you, that can mean your food, your money, safety, shelter, you know, everyday things. But yeah, there was some sort of misalignment of values with the person. Um, maybe you didn't have the same expectations, the same values, you know, whatever this is. And I mean, it left you feeling down, obviously. And once again, you're coming out of the, um, you are coming out of the anxiety, fear, worry, but you've got some inner turmoil going on. You need to release the worry. Um, there's deep-seated fears, there's secrets. Oh my God, I keep wanting to yawn my head off. Like, I feel really tired. I feel like I'm not sleeping great. I feel like I'm exhausted. Like, I want to go have a nap. Now, there was some dishonesty. Someone hasn't taken accountability for their actions, but also feel like there was mistrust or some sort of breakup or misunderstanding of some kind. But as I said, there was some sort of dishonesty or someone thinks there was dishonesty, something like that. 
So you need to stand up for yourself. You need to defend yourself. You need to defend your beliefs. You know, you have confidence. Um, choose your battles wisely, but I feel like, you know, there might be um, competition. There could be... Um, I just feel like that you need to look after yourself, protect yourself, defend your beliefs, like defend you. Um, you know, like if this person thinks you did wrong, then as I said, defend yourself. Um, but with the seven, it's like someone feels overwhelmed by their choices. They don't want to make a choice. And I feel like you do need to get out of your head though. There could also be addictions that someone's not wanting to deal with or see. Like if, if it's the other person, you don't want to see it or you don't, if you've got it, you don't, you know, if you've got some sort of addiction, you don't want to deal with it or you're not doing anything about it. Man, I feel tired. Tired, tired. Choices need to be made. But there is some sort of emotional loss and it's caused you to lose kind of hope really in, you know, getting what you want in the universe. Um, but yeah, there's definite decisions to make, like which way do I go? What option do I pick? What person do I pick? You know, like. Yeah. Remember how I said you were trying to avoid this tower moment? It's going to happen. The universe will make it happen. If you try to avoid and it's not meant to be in your life, you know, they'll make it happen. Now, weirdly enough, right, the way that the cards have come out, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and you've got King of Swords. So... The way I'm reading that is that you've got a new beginning in love, right? You've got two options and maybe that's the choices. I mean, there may be others. I mean, who knows how many options you've got or they've got or whatever. But I feel like you've either got the Knight of Pentacles or the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is somebody who's very strategic. They're a planner. They communicate clearly. They have... Um, you know, they might work in something to do with authority. Um, they may have fair judgment. They may be very truthful, sometimes very bluntly truthful. Um, you know, they're witty, that kind of thing, right? The other option is the Knight of Pentacles. Now... The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is reliable. They're patient. They're an animal lover. They um, are trustworthy. They're hardworking. They're sensible. Um, very slow moving. Like they don't, like they wouldn't just say to you, let's get engaged. I want to marry you, you know, after a month. They're likely to wait a year or two or three. They're very slow moving. Like they're not going to do things in a hurry. But it can mean that someone wants to come in as well, like in the picture. Someone's coming in with an offer for you, right? So they could be your two options in, you know, in love. As I said, you may have others, right? But maybe this describes for somebody, this could describe somebody that's going to come in and offer you love. You know, maybe they're your two choices and maybe say, say you feel like you're a, uh, knight of um, pentacles is your person they are a knight so that can mean they're you know maybe a bit younger than you but it can also mean it doesn't have to be but it can also mean that maybe you decide to go with the person that's more of an animal lover and you feel like closer to them normally the kings kings are normally like more uh advanced spiritually um advanced in their learning that kind of thing than say a knight but you know only you know trust your intuition right um i can't do that for you 
but there's definite choices um you are completing or you need to focus on your self-worth um now you also funny enough right you also do have the queen of swords now funny enough the virgo one of the virgo's cards is the oh your lover's card which is you the lover's card already came out like i showed you but also the knight of swords right you've got the king and the queen of swords you've got the king here which is what i was just telling you about but you've also got the queen of swords which is another divine counterpart right but the queen is in reverse now the queen in reverse can either describe someone who is very overly emotional not great at communicating they're deceitful cold-hearted sly um they're sometimes bitchy you know that kind of person right but the reverse for me either says that you are a karmic if one's upright and one's in reverse it's normally either a karmic or this person that's reverse needs to do some work on themselves before you can be a divine counterpart right so that's how i read cards but um it's telling me that because you've got the king and the queen I mean, it could, and you've already had the king and queen upright. So for me, there is a divine counterpart. The other one, maybe you, maybe with the other person, somebody's still got work to do. They could also be an option, but maybe they're a karmic. Could also be that. Now, you need to do some work on you, as I said. Focus on your self worth, focus on your confidence, focus on like who are you as a person, re establish who you are. Um, I feel like you are going to complete a lesson. You are having a new beginning um, after an ending of some kind um, because you are going to get your wishes fulfilled. So keep the faith with that. Um, yeah, you will complete some sort of lesson. Now, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, which you had before. I know you had that one before. The Eight of Pentacles is about um, like you needing to... I guess learn more you need to widen your knowledge you need to focus on may maybe focusing on your money focusing on um maybe you, you don't you somebody's got no ambition possibly um but i feel like maybe if you're not learning yeah or just no ambition, not wanting. And I mean, it could even be that someone's not really. I'm, I'm feeling that somebody doesn't want to put in all the, the work when it comes to this relationship. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing more so than about a job and money and whatever. I feel like it's more that somebody doesn't want to put in as much. Whether it's as much as you, or you don't want to put it for for one of them. You maybe you don't want to put in as much as someone else. Yeah, I'm feeling maybe they don't want to put in as much as you with one of the situations. And it can and will make you walk away. And if you're not learning about from this situation, maybe you just decide to walk away. And you've got the Empress card. So, as I said, you could be codependent or, you know, and that's why you're hanging on to something and that's why you're not learning um it can also be a creative block if there is something creative that you're trying to do it can also cause a creative block um it's all about divine timing and it's about decisions you've got to make a choice so possibly one of the options actually stops you creatively doing something it causes a creative block I feel like there's somebody that you think you're going to get old with. Um, yeah, you've got to work on manifesting, though. You've got to work on manifesting what it is you do want. Um, and you've also got the Knight of Swords, which, once again, the Knight of Swords is you. That's the Gemini card. Um, so, you know, there is – it can also mean with the Knight of Swords, though, that somebody comes in all passionate and, you know, impulsive and – um there it could even be your guided to take some sort of action or whether someone comes in and wants to be all fiery and passionate and it's more about sex than it is about anything else for me the six of pentacles is like a karma card um i find like if you're a good person and you give to others you will get back from the universe you know like 
what you deserve. And like if you're a good person, you get good, you know, you do good, you get good. So make sure that you're doing that. Make sure that you're being a good person. Make sure you're giving to others, um, you know, but make sure it's also with the love. It's also something, you know, if you need help, ask, you know, but also your person should also be giving to you as well. It's not just taking, taking, taking. Now, there could have been a, or there will be some sort of opportunity that's not going to work out. It's going to be a lost opportunity. It could also mean that you have an emerging idea. Um, as I said, maybe this is a creative card more so than a relationship over. But, I mean, if you've got multiple choices, there has to be something that's going to be over, I guess. Um, it could have just been a bit of a distraction. Um, maybe someone or you have lack of direction in either creative or relationship. Um, and I also feel like, they could it could delay something yeah look this is the same card you do good you get good like the fact it's come out twice um you know that's that's great um so you might have this unexpected inflow of abundance come in you've got the queen of um pentacles like i told you so maybe you are going to get some sort of influx of abundance whether it's abundance or money or whatever this abundance is and just know that the world card has come out again so you are going to have this um you know beginning and ending um you are completing a lesson you are going to have um success a joyful accomplishment spiritual enlightenment um so be proud of yourself because you are completing something God, they're all wanting to jump out yeah look and then there'll be love we need one more card and you got the sun card like love and the sun card the sun card is like the most positive card in the deck it's all about jo joyous outcomes and material happiness success you know like everything good everything good and there is going to be a firm foundation so financially even there is going to be a firm foundation you just have to get out of your own head and look at whatever partnerships and alliances you have and decide and trust your intuition and i feel like you are going to get some clarity about this you are going to have a fresh start you are going to decide because one of your options is not going to fulfill your wishes and one is so be aware of that as i said i feel like one is more karmic more so than and you've got to learn from that once again, you might have more choices than two. It's different people, different. Funny enough, the same card just came out. Ace of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. We just read this card. You are going to have clarity, a fresh start. You know, the truth is going to come out. You, And then here it is in reverse. I just bent my card. You know, this is you There's thinking there's obstacles, you know, and the obstacles are stopping you moving forward possibly um it's also about you needing to take back your own power it's about getting some inner clarity maybe you have clouded judgment on the situation about which one which situation is going to bring you your wishes fulfilled but you know in the end trust your intuition as i said it work come work on your self-worth and your self-confidence and maybe this information will come um seven of swords like there's definite self-deceit someone's keeping secrets Gemini. I don't feel like you're in a high level of commitment with this person for some of you. I feel like though um, there may be kids involved. I feel like you are not paying or maybe you are paying attention to the red flags. You definitely need to pay attention to them if you're seeing them. As I said, there needs to be an equal give and take. And if someone isn't making an effort, as I said, there needs to be the effort, you know. And love yourself first. As I said, work on your self-worth, your self-love, all those things. And, you know, express how you feel to whoever you you are, whoever you want to be with, I guess. It, it, one of them is a spiritual lesson. I feel like there is things for you to learn out of all of this. 
everything you've been through, I feel like is teaching you something. That's what I believe anyway. Maybe you also need to express how you feel to somebody. Like you need to be the one that tells them. Yeah, something isn't causing you inner peace. And I also feel like it's not going the distance. And you know. Deep knowing, you know. I feel like you haven't mended your heart yet either for somebody. Yeah, you need to take back your own power. And don't lose hope because you are going to get love. It's going to take strength to get through it. And watch the guidance from the universe. Like, watch for the red flags. Listen to any guidance you're, to you're told. You know, I feel like you're not following that. And it's probably coming back to your intuition. You're not listening to it. You know, but maybe that's because there's something that you need to get rid of. As I said, I mentioned the addictions before. You need to purify your, your own thoughts, purify your own body. And I feel like there's something that is stopping you from doing that. But you can't let go of the frustration. You're trying to avoid some sort of tower moment, though, as I said. Pretty much all the messages I've already given you in, like, a couple of cards. Keep a positive mindset and manifest what it is you want. You need to communicate and tell someone how you feel, work on your communication style. Um, don't make any reactive, impulsive decisions. Consider all perspectives. Take some time to think what it is you want to say, do. Yeah, manifesting. Self-love. You're frustrated. You have lack of confidence. There's jealousy, self-sabotage. Um, there is going to be a tower moment. Like I keep saying, you're avoiding it, but it is going to happen. And someone you will be dating. Focus on your self-love though. And make sure that both of your goals are the same. All right, that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next read. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.